2 to the 4th is 16, so 16 is a 4th power. But if we work modulo p, we can write 16 as an 8th power. I mean, look at all of this information over here, all of these examples. Right? We've got 3 to the 8th is 16 modulo 7, 11, 17. We've got 5 to the 8th is 16 modulo 23. We've got 11 to the 8th is 16 modulo 29. I mean, the, the conjecture that I think all of this data suggests is that for every prime p, we can find an x so that x to the 8th is congruent to 16 modulo that prime p. So here's the theorem that I want to show. I want to prove that uh, 16 is an eighth power modulo any prime. So what I really mean is that uh, for a given prime p, I can find an x so that x to the eighth is 16 modulo p. Or in other words, I want to show that for every prime p, x to the eighth minus 16 has a root. Okay, here I've got the complex plane. I've got one and minus one. I've got i and minus i. And then here, I've got the roots of uh, x to the eighth uh, minus uh, 16. All right, so this is the polynomial that I would like to factor. Okay, so uh, well here in red, I've highlighted the uh, two real roots. So that gives me a term uh, x squared minus 2. And then here in uh, blue, I've got uh, the two pure imaginary roots of x to the six, x to the eighth minus 16. So that gives me a term x squared uh, plus two. And then uh, here in green, I've got uh, two roots which together uh, give me the polynomial. Uh, x squared minus 2x plus 2. And then uh, over here in uh, purple, I've got uh, two more roots, which give me the polynomial x squared plus 2x plus 2. And indeed, if I multiply together uh, these four polynomials, I get the polynomial x to the eighth minus 16. So I've factored x to the eighth minus 16. Now we just saw that x to the eighth minus 16 factors. It factors as x squared minus 2 times x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 2. So all I've got to do is for every prime p, I've just got to find a root of one of those four polynomials, and then I'm good. Well, let's think about the possibilities. If 2 on p is 1, that means 2 is a square mod p, and that means I can find a root of x squared minus 2, and then we're done. If minus 2 on p is 1, that means there's a square root of minus 2 in z mod p, and that means I can find a root of the polynomial x squared plus 2, and then again, we're done. If both of those things don't happen, right? If we're in a situation where 2 on p is minus 1 and minus 2 on p is also minus 1, what do we do? Well, in that case, minus 1 on p is 1. That means I've got i in the ring z mod p. And I can use that to find a root of x squared plus 2x plus 2. Namely, uh, i minus 1 is a root of x squared plus 2x plus 2. Sometimes it's kind of fun to see some uh, just numerical examples here. So here's a bunch of integers. I've, I'm putting them in rows of eight, right? Each row has eight integers in it. Maybe that's uh, significant. Uh, okay, now let's just take a look at the primes. So here are just the primes. And here in red, I'm gonna highlight the primes for which two on p is one. And then here in blue, I'll highlight the primes for which minus two on p is one. Uh, and sometimes it happens that 2 on p and minus 2 on p are both equal to 1. And in that case, uh, then I'm going to color those purple, I guess because red and blue together make, make purple. Now there's still a column of primes uh, where uh, minus 2 on p and 2 on p are both minus 1. But in that case, the multiplicativity tells us that minus 1 on p must be equal to 1 in that case. Here's maybe an easier way to summarize what we just saw. So uh, every prime is either 2, so we'll just ignore the case of 2, or uh, that prime p is a prime such that minus 1 on p is 1, or 2 on p is 1, or minus 2 on p is 1. And we can put all that together then to conclude that uh, for every prime p, the polynomial x to the eighth minus 16 has a root. So we're in kind of a strange situation here. We've got this number 16, and 16 is emphatically not an eighth power, right? There's no integer that I can raise to the eighth power and get 16. 
And yet, if I work in Z mod P, 16 is an eighth power, right? For any prime P, I can find an X so that X to the eighth uh, is equal to 16 modulo uh, P. You know, so it's a little bit funny, right? That something is happening modulo every prime, and yet it doesn't happen just for the regular old integers.